And we are back with part three of this week's reading of the Messianic Jewish Family Bible, Tree of Life Version, TLV. And this is the Bible study for, for Waymaker Messianic Jewish and Christian Center USA. And we are reading this week Psalm 101 to 125. And we are now at Psalm 119. Now, Psalm 119 is the longest um, actual chapter um, in the Bible. It goes through the Hebrew alphabet. So we it, it actually is entitled Learn Torah Letter by Letter. Um, and the first letter is Aleph. Uh, Blessed are those whose way is blameless, who walk in the Torah of Adonai. Happy are those who keep his testimonies, who seek him with a whole heart, who also do no injustice, but walk in his ways. You have commanded that your precepts be kept diligently. Oh, that by my, oh, that my ways were steadfast to observe your decrees. Then I would not be ashamed when I consider all your mitzvah. I will praise you with an upright heart. As I learn your righteous judgments, I will observe your statutes. Never abandon me utterly. And they, that's B-E-T, that's the second letter. And also, I just want to mention before I go on that this is written by an anonymous writer. How can a young man keep his way pure by guarding it? According to your word, with my whole heart have I sought you. Let me not stray from your midst, though I have treasured your word in my heart so I might not sin against you. Now, this kind of sounds like David. Um, Blessed are you, Adonai. Teach me your statutes with my lips. I rehearsed all the rulings of your mouth. I rejoice in the way of your testimonies above all wealth. I will meditate on your precepts and regard your ways. I will delight in your decrees. I will never forget your word. Gimel is the next letter. Do good to your servant that I may live and keep your word. Open my mouth, open my eyes so I may behold wonders from your Torah. I am a temporary dweller on earth. Do not hide your mitzvah from me. My soul is crushed with longing for your judgments at all times. You rebuke, you rebuke the proud who are cursed, who wander from your mitzvah. Take scorn and contempt away from me, for I have kept your testimonies. Though princes sit and talk against me, your servant meditates on your decrees. For your testimonies are my delight. They are also my counselors. Dalit is the next letter. My soul clings to the dust. Revive me according to your word. I told of my ways and you answered me. Teach me your statutes. Help me discern the ways of your precepts so I may meditate on your wonders. My soul weeps with great grief. Make me stand firm with your word. Turn me away from the deceitful way and be gracious to me with your Torah. I have chosen the way of faithfulness. I have set my heart on your judgments. I cling to your testimonies. I don't know. Do not put me to shame. I run the course of your mitzvah for you open wide my heart. Hey is, <clears throat> hey is the next letter. Excuse me. Teach me the way of your decrees, Adonai, and I will follow them to the end. Give me understanding that I may keep your Torah and observe it with all my heart. Help me walk in the path of your mitzvah, for I delight in it. Turn my heart to your testimonies and not to dishonest gain. Turn my eyes away from gazing at vanity, but revive me in your ways. Fulfill, fulfill, me, fulfill your word to your servant, which leads to reverence for you. Make the disgrace I dread pass away, for your judgments are good. Behold, I long for your precepts. Revive me by your righteousness. Vav is the next letter. May your loving kindnesses come to me, Adonai, your salvation according to your word, so I may answer the one taunting me, for I trust in your word. Never snatch out of my mouth a word of truth, for I hope in your judgments. So I may also keep your Torah forever and ever and walk about in freedom. For I have sought your precepts. I will speak of your testimonies before kings and never be ashamed. I delight in your mitzvah, which I love. I reach out my hands for your mitzvah, which I love, and meditate on your decrees. Zion, which is Z-A-I, Z-A-Y-I-N is the next letter. Remember the word 
to your servant on which you have made me hope. My comfort in my affliction is this. Your word has kept me alive. The arrogant have, have viciously, viciously ridiculed me, yet I did not turn away from your Torah. I remember your judgments from of old. Adonai, and comfort myself. Burning indignation grips me because of the wicked who forsake your Torah. Your decrees have become my songs in the house where I dwell. In the night I remember your name, Adonai, and keep watching over your Torah. This is my own that I keep your precepts. Ket. Adonai is my portion. I promise to guard your words. I have entreated your favor with all my heart. Be gracious to me according to your word. I have considered my ways and turned my feet back to your testimonies. I hasten and do not delay to obey your mitzvah. The ropes of the wicked are coiled around me, but I did not forget your Torah. At midnight, I rise to praise you because of your righteous rulings. I am a companion of all who fear you, of those who observe your precepts. The earth is full of your loving kindnesses. Kindness, Adonai, teach me your decrees. Tet. You do good to your servant, Adonai, according to your word. Teach me good sense and knowledge, for I trusted in your midst, though. Because I was afflicted, I went astray, but now I keep your word. You are good and keep doing good. Teach me your decrees. Though the proud smeared a lie on me, with all my heart I keep your precepts. Their minds are insensible, but your Torah is my delight. It is good for me that I was afflicted, so I may learn your decrees. The Torah from your mouth is better to me than thousands of gold and silver pieces. Yod, your hands have made me and formed me. Give me understanding that I may learn your mitzvah. Those in awe of you see me and rejoice because I put my hope in your word. I know, Adonai, your judgments are just. In faithfulness, you have afflicted me. May your loving kindness comfort me according to your promise to your servant. Let your tender mercies reach me. Let me live for your Torah is my delight. May the proud be put to shame for wronging me with a lie. But I will meditate on your precepts. Let those in awe of you return to me, those who know your testimonies. My heart will have integrity in following your decrees so that I would not be ashamed. Kaf, that's K-A-F. My soul faints with longing for your salvation, but I still hope in your word. My eyes are worn out longing for your promise, saying, when will you comfort me, though I became like a wineskin dried in smoke? I do not forget your decrees. How many are the days of your servant? When will you execute judgment on my persecutors? The proud have dug pits for me that in not that is not in accord with your Torah. All your myths, though, are faithful. They persecute me with a lie. Help me. They almost finish me off on earth. But I, I will not forsake your precepts. Revive me with your loving kindness so that I may keep your mouth's testimony. Lamed. Forever, Adonai, your word stands firm in the heavens. Your faithfulness endures from generation to generation. You establish the earth, and it stands. Your judgments stand today, for all things are your servants. If your Torah had not been my delight, I would have perished in my affliction. I will never forget your precepts, for with them you kept me alive. I am yours. Save me. For I have sought out your precepts. The wicked wait for me to destroy me, but I will study your testimonies. I have seen a limit to all perfection, yet your commandment is boundless. Mem. Oh, how I love your Torah. It is my meditation all day. Your mitzvah make me wiser than my enemies, for they are mine forever. I have more insight than all my teachers, for your testimonies are my meditations. I have gained more understanding than all my elders, for I have kept your precepts. I keep my kept my feet from every evil way in order to follow your word. I do not turn away from your rulings, for you yourself have taught me how sweet is your word to my taste. Yes, sweeter than honey to my mouth. From your precepts I get discernment. Therefore, I hate every false way. None. Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. 
I've sworn and confirmed to observe your righteous rulings. I am severely afflicted. Keep me alive, Adonai, according to your word. Please accept the free will offering of my mouth, Adonai, and teach me your rulings. My soul is continually in danger, yet I have not forgotten your Torah. The wicked have set a snare for me, yet I did not stray from your precepts. Your testimonies I have as a heritage forever, for they are my heart's joy. I turn my heart to do your decrees forever to the very end. Samach, and that's S-A-M-E-C-H. I hate double-minded ones, but your Torah I love. You are my hiding place and my shield, and your word I hope. Away from me, evildoers, so I may keep the mitzvah of my God. Sustain me according to your word, so I may live and let me not be ashamed of my hope. Support me, and I will be saved. And study your decrees continuous, continually. You despise all who wander from your decrees, for their deceitfulness is in vain. All the wicked of the earth you remove like dross. Therefore, I love your testimonies. My flesh shudders for fear of you, and I am in awe of your judgments. I am. That's A Y I N. I did what is just and right. Do not leave me to my oppressors. Guarantee your servants' well-being. Do not let arrogant ones oppress me. My eyes fail longing for your salvation and for your righteous word. Deal with your servant as befits your loving kindness and teach me your statutes. I am your servant. Give me discernment so I may understand your testimonies. It is time for Adonai to act. They have violated your Torah. Therefore, I love your mitzvah more than gold, more than pure gold. Therefore, I esteem all your precepts as right in every way, every false way I hate. K, which is P-E. Your testimonies are wonderful. Therefore, my soul obeys them. The unfolding of your words gives light, giving understanding to the simple. I opened my mouth wide and panted. For I longed for your mitzvah, turn to me and be gracious to me, as is fitting to those who love your name. Direct my footsteps in your word and let no iniquity get mastery over me. Redeem me from my human oppression, oppression and I will keep your precepts. Make your face shine on your servant and teach me your decrees. Streams of water run down from my eyes because they do not, they do not observe your Torah. Study, which is T-Z-A-D-H-E. Righteous are you, Adonai, and your judgments are upright. You have commanded righteousness, your testimonies, and your great faithfulness. My zeal has consumed me because my foes forgot your words. Your word is thoroughly refined and your servant loves it. Um, I am insignificant and despised, yet I have not forgotten your precepts. Your, judge, your justice is righteous forever, and your Torah is truth. Trouble and anguish have overtaken me, yet your mitzvah are my delight. Your testimonies are righteous forever. Make me understand so I may live. Kof, K-O-F. I cried out with all my heart. Answer me, Adonai. I will keep your decrees. I cried out to you. Save me, and I will keep your testimonies. I am up before dawn crying for help. I put my hope in your word. My eyes are up before every night. Watch as I meditate on your word. Hear my voice and your loving kindness. Revive me, Adonai, with your judgments. Pursuers of wicked schemes draw near. They are far from your Torah. You are near, Adonai, and all your mitzvah are truth. Long ago, I learned from your testimonies that you founded them firmly forever. Resh. See my affliction and rescue me, for I do not forget your Torah. Defend my cause and redeem me. Restore my life through your word. Salvation is far from the wicked, for they do not seek after your decrees. Great are your mercies, Adonai. Restore my life with your judgments. Many are my persecutors and my foes, yet I do not turn from your testimonies. I see the treacherous and loathe them, because they do not keep your word. See how I loved your precepts. Restore my life, Adonai, with your loving kindness. Truth is the essence of your word, and all your righteous rulings are, are eternal. Shin. Princes persecute me for no reason, but my heart is in awe of your words. I rejoice, I rejoice in your word as one who finds great spoil. I haste and abhor falsehood, but your Torah I love. Seven times a day I praise you because of your righteous judgments. Great peace have, 
have they who love your Torah, and nothing causes them to stumble. I hope for your salvation, Adonai, and do your mitzvah. My soul has absor observed your testimonies, and I love them exceedingly. I observe your precepts and your laws, for all my ways are before you. Tav, let my cry come to you, Adonai, great. Grant me understanding by your word that my supplication come before you. Deliver me according to your promise. My lips utter praise, for you teach me your statutes. My tongue sings of your word, for all your mitzvot are righteous. Let your hand be ready to help me, for I have chosen your precepts. I long for your deliverance, Adonai, and your Torah is my delight. Let my soul live and praise you. And may your rulings help me. I have strayed like a lost sheep. Seek your servant, for I did not forget your mitzvah. And that's the end of Psalm 119. And Psalm 120 is also written by an anonymous writer. I am for Shalom, a song of ascent. Now we get into um, these psalms that are called songs of ascent or songs of degrees these this is meaning ascending to worship and these psalms are uh, actually from 120 to 134 in my trouble i cried out to adonai and he answered me adonai deliver my soul from lying lips from a deceitful tongue what can be given to you and what more can be done to you o deceitful tongue sharp arrows of the mighty with burning coals of a broom tree woe to me for i sojourn in meshach for i dwell among the tents of kedar my soul has too long dwelt with those who hate shalom i am for shalom and thus i speak but they are for war and psalm 121 is also written by an anonymous writer it is a song of ascents, or a song of degrees, depending on what Bible that you're looking at. In this Bible, these are known as uh, ascending to worship. These are song of ascents. I will lift up my eyes to the mountains. From where does my help come? My help comes from Adonai, maker of heaven and earth. This is one of my favorites. I love this. He will not let your foot slip. Your keeper will not slumber. Behold, the keeper of Israel neither slumbers nor sleeps. Praise God for that. Adonai is your keeper. Adonai is your shadow at your right hand. The sun will not strike you by day, nor the moon by night. Adonai will protect you from all evil. He will guard your life. Adonai will watch over your coming and your going. From this time forth and forevermore. Praise God. And Psalm 122 is pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Sha'alu Shalom Yerushalayim. This is also a song of ascent, and this is one that David wrote. I rejoiced when they said to me, Let us go to the house of Adonai. There's quite a few songs with this psalm. Our feet are standing in your gates, Jerusalem. Jerusalem built as a city joined together. There the tribes go up, the tribes of Adonai add as a testimony to Israel to praise the name of Adonai, for their thrones for judgment are set up the throne to the house of David. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. May those who love you be at peace at shalom may there may there be shalom within your walls quietness within your palaces for the sake of my brothers and friends i now say shalom be within you for the sake of the house of adonai our god i will seek your good pray for the peace of jerusalem she'alu shalom yerushalayim and may those who love you be at shalom um, the other thing that this will also happen in the millennial reign, um, Jerusalem built it as, as a city, the tribes will go up, the tribes of Adonai, as a testimony to Israel, actually to worship the king. Psalm 123, be gracious to your servants, another song of ascents. 
and this is by an anonymous writer. To you I lift up my eyes, you enthroned in the heavens, behold as the eyes of slaves to the hand of their master, as the eyes of a slave girl in, to the hand of her mistress. So our eyes look to Adonai our God, till he shows us favor, show us favor, Adonai, show us favor, for we have endured much contempt. Our soul has had enough of the scorn of those at ease, the contempt of the proud. And then we have Psalm 124, which is the Psalm of David. Had he not been on our side, a song of ascents of David. Had Adonai not been on our side, let Israel now say, had Adonai not been on our side, when men rose up against us, then they would have swallowed us alive. When their wrath burned against us, then the waters would have engulfed us. The torrent would have swept over our soul. Then the raging waters would have swept over our soul. Blessed be Adonai, who has not given us as prey for their teeth. Our soul has escaped like a bird out of the snare of the trapper. The snare is broken, and we escaped. Our help is in the name of Adonai, maker of heaven and earth. And the last and final psalm for, for this week is Psalm 125. Like the mountains around Jerusalem, and this is by an anonymous writer, it's a song of ascent. Those who trust in Adonai are like Mount Zion. It cannot be moved, but endures forever. As the mountains are around Jerusalem, so Adonai is all around his people, both now and forever. For a scepter of wickedness will not rest over the land of the righteous, lest the righteous set their hands to evil. Do good, Adonai, to the good and to the upright in their hearts. But as for those who turn aside to their crooked ways, Adonai will lead them away with evildoers. Shalom be upon Israel. And we're going to come back with another part and do the altar call and then the closing of this week's um, um, Bible study. Um, I'm going to end this section now in prayer. Father God, we thank you. We thank you for your mighty word. For these psalms that you inspired by the writers who wrote them. And we love your word, Adonai. Your word is faithful. Your word is true. Your word is comforting. And we know we see in the writings of your people how you did come to their defense. You neither slumber nor sleep. Um, you always have your eyes on Israel. And we know that. And we do pray for the peace of Jerusalem um, all at all times. Uh, we know our king is returning to Jerusalem. And we love you, Father God. We love you, Yeshua. In the mighty, mighty, precious name of Yeshua. Amen and amen. And we will be back with a fourth part and do the altar call at that point.